your English practice teacher. Hello, everyone. Today, we have something exciting in store for you. We'll be diving into a variety of everyday situations, exploring common English sentences that you can use to express yourself confidently and effectively. We've divided our content into seven fascinating categories, from offering heartfelt apologies to expressing your deepest emotions, discussing hobbies, and making small talk. We've got it all covered. So, let's dive in and boost your English confidence together. Are you ready? Let's get started. Whether you've made a mistake, unintentionally hurt someone's feelings, or caused inconvenience, knowing how to apologize politely is an essential skill in communication. I'm sorry for the mistake I made. I'm sorry for the mistake I made. Please forgive me for my behavior. Please forgive me for my behavior. I apologize for being late to the meeting. I apologize for being late to the meeting. My sincere apologies for any inconvenience. My sincere apologies for any inconvenience. I'm really sorry if my words hurt you. I'm really sorry if my words hurt you. I didn't mean to upset you. I apologize. I didn't mean to upset you. I apologize. Please accept my heartfelt apology. Please accept my heartfelt apology. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I apologize for the delay in my response. I apologize for the delay in my response. I'm deeply sorry for any confusion. I'm deeply sorry for any confusion. I'm sorry I didn't call you back earlier. I'm sorry I didn't call you back earlier. Please excuse my oversight. Please excuse my oversight. I apologize for the inconvenience this may cause. I apologize for the inconvenience this may cause. I'm so sorry I forgot your birthday. I'm so sorry I forgot your birthday. Please accept my apologies for the mix up. Please accept my apologies for the mix up. I'm genuinely sorry for any trouble. I'm genuinely sorry for any trouble. I apologize for my thoughtless comment. I apologize for my thoughtless comment. I'm sorry if I disappointed you. I'm sorry if I disappointed you. Please forgive me for the error. Please forgive me for the error. I want to say I'm sorry for my actions. I want to say I'm sorry for my actions. Emotions are an integral part of human expression. In this category, we'll cover simple English sentences to express a wide range of emotions, from happiness and excitement to sadness and frustration. Learning to convey your feelings effectively can greatly enhance your communication. I feel happy when I'm with my friends. I feel happy when I'm with my friends. She looks sad today. I wonder what happened. She looks sad today. I wonder what happened. He seems excited about the upcoming trip. He seems excited about the upcoming trip. They were surprised by the unexpected news. They were surprised by the unexpected news. We're thrilled to hear about your success. We're thrilled to hear about your success. She appears calm even under pressure. She appears calm even under pressure. I'm proud of your accomplishments. 
I'm proud of your accomplishments. He's feeling tired after a long day at work. He's feeling tired after a long day at work. They were relieved when the problem was solved. They were relieved when the problem was solved. I find the movie really funny. I find the movie really funny. She feels anxious before important exams. She feels anxious before important exams. He's been down lately due to personal issues. He's been down lately due to personal issues. They're experiencing joy on their wedding day. They're experiencing joy on their wedding day. We're excited about the new project. We're excited about the new project. She's content with her current situation. She's content with her current situation. I'm worried about the upcoming presentation. I'm worried about the upcoming presentation. He's been frustrated with the slow progress. He's been frustrated with the slow progress. They were shocked by the sudden announcement. They were shocked by the sudden announcement. We're grateful for your kind words. We're grateful for your kind words. She's in a great mood today. She's in a great mood today. Discover how to talk about your interests and hobbies in English. Whether you're passionate about reading, sports, cooking, or any other activity, these sentences will help you engage in conversations about the things you love. I enjoy reading books in my free time. I enjoy reading books in my free time. She loves painting and creating art. She loves painting and creating art. He's passionate about playing the guitar. He's passionate about playing the guitar. They're interested in gardening and landscaping. They're interested in gardening and landscaping. We're fans of outdoor activities like hiking. We're fans of outdoor activities like hiking. She has a hobby of collecting vintage stamps. She has a hobby of collecting vintage stamps. He's into photography and capturing moments. He's into photography and capturing moments. They have a love for cooking and trying new recipes. They have a love for cooking and trying new recipes. I enjoy watching movies on weekends. I enjoy watching movies on weekends. We're enthusiastic about traveling and exploring. We're enthusiastic about traveling and exploring. She's a dedicated fitness enthusiast. She's a dedicated fitness enthusiast. He's interested in astronomy and stargazing. He's interested in astronomy and stargazing. They love attending live music concerts. They love attending live music concerts. We have a hobby of bird watching in our garden. We have a hobby of bird watching in our garden. She enjoys solving puzzles and crosswords. She enjoys solving puzzles and crosswords. He's passionate about classic cars. He's passionate about classic cars. They're big fans of video games. They're big fans of video games. I find joy in practicing mindfulness and meditation. I find joy in practicing mindfulness and meditation. We appreciate art and often visit galleries. We appreciate art and often visit galleries. 
She's into DIY crafting and making handmade gifts. She's into DIY crafting and making handmade gifts. Small talk is the art of casual conversation that helps build connections with others. In this category, you'll find sentences for starting and maintaining friendly chats, from discussing the weather to asking about weekend plans. How's your day going so far? How's your day going so far? Did you have a nice weekend? Did you have a nice weekend? Have you seen the latest movie in theaters? Have you seen the latest movie in theaters? What do you do for work? What do you do for work? How's your family doing these days? How's your family doing these days? Have you tried the new restaurant downtown? Have you tried the new restaurant downtown? What kind of music do you enjoy listening to? What kind of music do you enjoy listening to? Do you have any plans for the summer? Do you have any plans for the summer? What's the weather like in your area? What's the weather like in your area? Have you read any interesting books lately? Have you read any interesting books lately? How's your new job treating you? How's your new job treating you? Do you like going to live concerts? Do you like going to live concerts? What's your favorite type of cuisine? What's your favorite type of cuisine? Have you been on any vacations recently? Have you been on any vacations recently? How's your pet dog doing? How's your pet dog doing? Do you follow any sports teams? Do you follow any sports teams? Have you visited any art exhibitions lately? Have you visited any art exhibitions lately? What's your favorite way to relax? What's your favorite way to relax? Do you have any upcoming travel plans? Do you have any upcoming travel plans? How do you spend your evenings after work? How do you spend your evenings after work? Expressing an opinion allows you to share your thoughts and engage in meaningful conversations. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. In my opinion, it's too expensive. In my opinion, it's too expensive. I believe this movie is fantastic. I believe this movie is fantastic. Personally, I prefer the blue one. Personally, I prefer the blue one. I find that book very interesting. I find that book very interesting. To me, it tastes a bit salty. To me, it tastes a bit salty. I think this plan will work. I think this plan will work. In my view, it's a beautiful painting. In my view, it's a beautiful painting. I feel this song is really catchy. I feel this song is really catchy. Personally, I don't like spicy food. Personally, I don't like spicy food. I think the weather is perfect today. I think the weather is perfect today. In my opinion, it's a top-notch product. In my opinion, it's a top-notch product. I believe this restaurant is excellent. I believe this restaurant is excellent. To me, this book is a classic. To me, this book is a classic. I feel the movie was disappointing. I feel the movie was disappointing. Personally, I enjoy hiking. 
Personally, I enjoy hiking. I think this car is a good value. I think this car is a good value. In my view, the service was excellent. In my view, the service was excellent. I believe this game is exciting. I believe this game is exciting. To me, the city is vibrant. To me, the city is vibrant. Talking about the weather is a common icebreaker. It's a great way to start a conversation. It's sunny and warm today. It's sunny and warm today. The weather is cloudy and cool. The weather is cloudy and cool. It's rainy and gloomy outside. It's rainy and gloomy outside. The forecast predicts snow tonight. The forecast predicts snow tonight. It's a bit windy this afternoon. It's a bit windy this afternoon. The skies are clear and blue. The skies are clear and blue. It's hot and humid in the summer. It's hot and humid in the summer. The temperature is dropping rapidly. The temperature is dropping rapidly. It's foggy and misty in the morning. It's foggy and misty in the morning. The weather is quite unpredictable. The weather is quite unpredictable. It's scorching hot today. It's scorching hot today. The skies are overcast with clouds. The skies are overcast with clouds. It's drizzling lightly right now. It's drizzling lightly right now. The forecast calls for thunderstorms. The forecast calls for thunderstorms. It's icy and cold in the winter. It's icy and cold in the winter. The weather is muggy and uncomfortable. The weather is muggy and uncomfortable. It's perfect for a day at the beach. It's perfect for a day at the beach. The skies are partly cloudy. The skies are partly cloudy. It's warm and pleasant this evening. It's warm and pleasant this evening. The weather is chilly and brisk. The weather is chilly and brisk. And finally, saying goodbye is a polite way to end a conversation. It leaves a positive impression on the people you interact with. Goodbye, have a great day. Goodbye, have a great day. Farewell, take care of yourself. Farewell, take care of yourself. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Take it easy, see you soon. Take it easy, see you soon. So long, see you in a while. So long, see you in a while. Catch you later, have a good one. Catch you later, have a good one. Bye bye, it was nice seeing you. Bye bye, it was nice seeing you. Have a safe trip, goodbye. Have a safe trip, goodbye. Farewell, have a wonderful evening. Farewell, have a wonderful evening. See you on Monday, goodbye. See you on Monday, goodbye. Goodbye, don't be a stranger. Goodbye, don't be a stranger. Take care, see you next time. Take care, see you next time. Bye for now, see you shortly. Bye for now, see you shortly. Have a great weekend, farewell. Have a great weekend, farewell. See you at the party, goodbye. See you at the party, goodbye. Goodbye, have fun on your vacation. Goodbye. Have fun on your vacation. 
Farewell, see you on the flip side. Farewell, see you on the flip side.